Hey, my name is Paul. I'm from the Vancouver Hackerspace, and I'm here to show you my micro hydro power bucket. Let's start at the top. Coming down the creek is a 200 foot section of 2 inch water line. At the end of that line, I have a valve, and then after the valve, I split up to a 3 inch line, which I immediately then knock down to four 1 inch lines coming off. The lines follow a circular pattern around the bucket. And at the end of each one of those lines, I go from a one inch down to a half an inch. So my final jet is just under half an inch, as I believe the half inch is the outer diameter of this piece here. On the inside of the bucket is a Pelton wheel, a uh, fancy name for a turbine that's uh, driven by water. Uh, my Pelton wheel is made from an 8 inch grinder disc with uh, 45 degree uh, elbows of PVC. Uh, elbows are cut open and bolted onto that 8 inch disc. I believe I have a dozen of them around the circumference of the disc. The disc is bolted directly to the shaft of this Wind Blue DC540. This is a permanent magnet alternator. Um, similar in size and shape to a standard car alternator, except it's made with permanent mag magnets and a, uh, special windings that give it a higher voltage at a lower RPM. Uh, standard car alternators have to be spinning over a couple thousand RPM before they make any voltage. This one will start producing voltage at, uh, I think, around 50 RPM. So the, the alternator is hooked up through this cable. It puts out AC, or alternating current, through this cable, this is a standard extension cable. On the other end I have a plug that comes into this unit which is called a rectifier. The rectifier takes the AC and converts it into DC electricity. Hooked up to that rectifier I have my multimeter. So I'm going to switch it on here. I'm going to measure 200, up to 200 volts DC. Alright, we're at zero now. I'm going to open the valve about a quarter of the way. You can hear the Pelton wheel started to turn. We're making electricity. Over here we see we've got 20, 25.6 volts. 26 volts. That's probably about half capacity or half the power that I've been able to generate now. If I turn it on full, higher water flow. Now we're producing 57 volts. My plan is to hook up a charge controller to this uh, power source and have the charge controller charge up a bank of batteries. And from those batteries I'll be able to power devices in a cabin out in the bush. Once again, my name is Paul. I'm from the Vancouver Hackspace. And this is the micro hydro power bucket.